Hey guys, what's up? Coach Brian here with criticalbench.com. Anti-estrogen, that's all we're talking about right now. Anti-estrogen dieting, supplements, and foods. So what is anti-estrogen? Or in other words, it's pro-testosterone. So why do people want to know about anti-estrogen? Is it because they have man boobs or suffer from gynecomastia, prostate cancer, uh, they might feel a little feminine, perhaps low testosterone. Anti-estrogen is very important if you're con concerned about testosterone. So I'm going to give you three topics on anti-estrogen. The first topic being anti-estrogenic dieting. So the idea behind this is that high levels of estrogen in your body causes hormone-related conditions, things like fibroid um, things like cancer, things like low testosterone, and all the things that are associated with low testosterone because of elevated estrogen. So what you need to do is make a diet that is conducive to having anti-estrogen properties. What you need to do is focus on foods that are good for the body, healthy, clean, good foods. Things like fish, things like aged cheese and yogurt, Things like nuts, green leaf vegetables, stuff like that. So what you need to do is have a good, solid diet that's consistent throughout the day and throughout the week. So when you're looking at an anti-estrogenic diet, it's not necessarily a restrictive or strict diet. It's rather liberal in its approach. That reason is because it's more about swapping out what you're currently eating for something better. So where most diets that usually fail to work are the diets that say you cannot eat this, you cannot eat that, or eat this, eat this, eat this. That's not what the anti-estrogenic diets are. Now, let's say you're eating uh, fried wings, french fries, and a bag of chips. That's got a lot of fat, it's got some poor protein in it, and chances are that's going to boost your estrogen. Now to replace that, maybe have a lean grilled chicken breast. Have some broccoli along with it. And if you, if you want, have some chips, but make sure they're not fried and they're coming from a good source. Whole grains, of course. So, again, anti-estrogenic diet. It's not about a certain type of diet. It's more about swapping out good for bad. So, another example would be the dairy products. Re replace cheap dairy products with something like aged cheese or organic Greek yogurt. Because both of those have high quality protein within that food. So now, now that you know that you need to have a good, healthy diet, what foods comprise of that diet? So foods to eat, nuts, seeds, organic eggs, wild-caught fish. Cheese is another great source. Whole grains. So these are all good things that you want to eat that will be beneficial to reducing estrogen within the body. Even things like coffee and green tea, citrus fruits, avocados, and so on. If it's coming from its rawest form, without being processed or minimally processed, you're in good, you're in good standards. So if, like I said, fish. Fish and seafood are awesome sources of compounds called DHA and EPA. These have awesome anti-inflammatory benefits and can offset the effects of estrogen. So these compounds can also balance out pro-inflammatory and pro-estrogenic compounds in most grains and cooking oils. So eat fish, wild-caught fish, things like salmon, um, good healthy fish. Now foods to minimize, these are the foods that you want to stay away from. Not just for anti-estrogenic properties, but just for overall general health of the body. So limit the amount of meat. Red meat is not always a good thing. Even though I love steak and I eat burgers and things like that, I make sure it's coming from good organic sources. So you want to limit amount, the amount of red meat in your diet. Also limit amount of pasta. Limit the bread and uh, limit other things that might be high in fat or high in sugar, just because all these things do have an effect on the body. So being overweight can increase the amount of estrogen in your body, so what you need to do is avoid high fattening foods. Animal fats in particular tend to have more adverse effect than vegetable fats. So what you need to do is get your, health, your fats from healthy vegetarian sources, things like olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, not necessarily uh, vegetarian, but fish. Fish is awesome to have healthy fats. So in addition to having a good diet, eating the right foods, it might be wise to have some anti-estrogen supplements within your daily routine. 
So as you know, or might not know, testosterone levels increase, estrogen levels decrease. Works the other way around too. As your testosterone levels decrease, estrogen levels increase. So men need testosterone. Men also need estrogen, but only in a small dose compared to women. So as men age, testosterone levels do decrease just through the natural aging process. And unfortunately, estrogen levels increase. So too much estrogen can lead to things like man breasts or gynecomastia. It can also lead to increased body fat, decrease of muscle mass, fatigue, erectile dysfunction, and possibly even cancer. So anti-estrogen supplements, things like estrogen blockers, these are used to help increase the amount of testosterone in the blood. These are good. But now these anti-estrogen supplements act as inhibitors, which is also good. So these supplements are used to convert estrogen into testosterone and by blocking the properties of estrogen within the body. This is also good. So what do you look for in an anti-estrogen supplement? Something called DIM. I'm gonna butcher it, but it's called dindolmethane. Yeah, that's why it's short for uh, DIM. DIM has been shown to have complex interactions with the hormone estrogen, thus appearing to have a more of a testosterone effect than an, an estrogen effect. In other words, DIM has been shown to work against estrogen, which has a direct effect on testosterone balance. So like I said earlier, when the percent of estrogen in the body is reduced or limited, the per percentage of testosterone is elevated. So you wanna make sure that you look at DIM in anti-estrogen supplements. Now there's something else that you could be taking to naturally decrease estrogen and naturally de increase testosterone. Turmeric, which is the active ingredient in curry. Crazy enough, turmeric is one of the most widely used around the world medically, medically used herbs or spice that you could ever use, especially if you're dealing with any type of estrogen issues. If you like that, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this report we made just for you. It's free, it's called The Seven Worst Testosterone Killers. It's got a lot of good information that you need to know about testosterone and estrogen. Click the link, give us your email, and we'll send you a copy right away. Now, if you're unable to click the link because you're on a mobile device, click the little arrow underneath this video, and that's gonna open up the video description. Within that video description, you're gonna see a link at the top. That's the link you need to click to get this free report. Guys, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. But we will also appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and leave us some feedback. Put a question down below or even a comment. Guys, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.